They're still gonna do very well to charge. Shock grenade. Yep, shocks them both. Oh, grenade! Oh! Hot damn! Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17 here, 95% back to normal health mostly, but in any case, let's get to this game. This is a 2v2 on, what is this map called? Eindhoven Country. Apologies. My, as my voice goes, so does my mind, but it's mostly back, I would say. Some people say it, it, it's always been gone, but we shall see in this game if it has returned fully. Joey, 240, and Lil Kush are on the German side as Vermont OKW. On the Allied side, we have, oh god, Murray, Miami, with Ganicus. Interesting. Maybe maybe you're a close relative of Reptilicus? Maybe? No? Okay. Well, you know. Any case, this uh, 2v2 match, by the way, was submitted by a Patreon supporter. If you want to support me on Patreon, check out the link down below. Patreon.com slash Grayshot Productions. And you get stuff like early access to videos. Ability to send me replays with priority uh, focus along with joining live streams priority focus along with many other awesome bonuses But in any case, let's get to this But again, if you want to submit a replay where I do two other replays a week Grayshotproductions at gmail.com and I will take a look or check out my discord and I you can submit there as well Also see h2.org Facebook kind of look at those two whatever floats your boat uh, meanwhile what we're seeing right now is an allied push from mid. Uh, allies as well grabbing their fuel. Uh, and very nice along with the Germans. So, uh, f you know, fairly equal split. Though the, the, it looks like the Soviets pushed a little more. But with the Pioneers right here, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Well, until the Molotov goes in and burns them out. Any case, Soviet forces continue to advance. Try to keep back the Germans and capture more territory. Specifically territory meant to cut off allied... Or... Well, Axis lines. So the Allies will see how they do. A lot of rear echelons by Jameri, so I'm assuming he's gonna go with this focus. Wait, yeah, with Urban Assault? That way... Yeah, you get the rifle grenade launchers. Folk Squad coming in, pushing back the... Or trying to push back the rifleman. Uh, Kubo, I love this. Kubo's just backing up and doing some nice pop shots. Doesn't have a lot of kills, but already almost vet one. Very nice. Soviets continuing to hold that, seeing reinforcements to help push back the additional Volk Squads by Little Kush. And very nice job. Looks like overall, allies have won that battle and have successfully pushed back the Germans outside of some territory that's pretty far out, especially actually grabbing this. If they grab the other piece, they're going to have all the victory points and both, well, okay, they'll have definitely won fuel, but uh, both munitions. Germans not letting it go lightly, moving up a lot of Grandiers along with an MG, backing them up. Uh, yep, Mary went with the Urban Assault. Murray? We'll just say Murray. Murray, all right, all, is actually kind of a nice counterbalance with uh, Gynicus going with IS-2. So, expect heavy armor, heavy artillery, and some pretty damn good infantry with shock troops and as well rangers possibly coming to the mix. Rifleman trying to hold. Volk squad's in a way better position. These guys better retreat. Oh, speaking of which, uh, let's double check the ranks real quick. All right, so it looks like Axes have a small lead, but we'll see if that means... They will be successful in this match. We got Axis forces now engaging allied ones on the right, trying to decap the Axis fuel. But, unfortunately for them, Joey240 is like, nah, uh with his grenadiers and pushing them back. He's mostly going front line focus with got a lot of, um, the baseline German infantry. Uh, no Panzer grenadiers yet. A uh, lot of Volk squads and Sturms for Lokush. Once again, no Panzer Fossiliers or anything else. These guys are fine, but as the Americans upgrade, I feel like they will be in a better position, especially if they just start using your echelons and start using the bonuses. Not to say that they will necessarily will be beat easily, but with the added uh, RNG-ness of the rifle grenade, that could very easily push the uh, Volk squads out of cover and very easily uh, overwhelm them with enough grenades flying through the air. Essentially, it's noob tube season in CO2 with that upgrade. Speaking of which, uh, the American is also bringing out a half-track, so we'll see if that uh, is able to hold back the infantry and hopefully maybe shoot down some German planes, which may come into the mix. Volk squad's going in. If they cut off this fuel, that would be a huge win for them as well. They're capturing munitions, or at least they're getting back this side, though allied counterattack in mid with multiple conscript squads pushing on in to try to overwhelm 
the German line. Germans have, do have an MG here, but if they can move quickly with the conscripts, they could flank it. Now, it doesn't look like that is the case, at least for one squad. One of them did manage to actually pull back and is heading back toward this line. He does have AT grenades, so we can use it on the Kubel. Rifleman going on in. Rifle grenades being fired, but a little bit off. That still causes some health damage. Very good job there. Rashlon's pulling back, but additional squads coming on in. Providing support of fire. A one good grenade. Oh, there's double. Oh, so very close. AT grenade thrown by the, the, the conscript squad coming on the flank. Very nice to see. We have the A half track now moving on in. Additional rifle grenades being thrown along with a Molotov. That Volk squad's just being at multiple angles. What am I talking about? God damn, that RNG-ness from those rifle grenades. Enough to push back a, a, some, well, well-positioned Volk squads. AA half-track coming on in. Suppressing the squad. Meanwhile, rifle grenades being fired in both directions. Little Kufus like, F this, I'm out. Peace. And uh, unfortunately for him, he can no longer hold the this front. Uh, most likely, the allies will quickly try to take this over. Maybe a fighting position? Actually, one might not be bad, like, here to kind of stop anything in this general direction. So... We'll see how things go. Meanwhile, a uh, positive note, at least Joey's able to hold mid. He's placing mines as an MG. He's really trying to focus here, and you can definitely tell that he's doing a lot of work to make sure he holds it. A half track will also face some problems with the pack gun now moving in. He has a little bit of a window before it moves up to really harm him, but also he has to worry about that left flank because the American player could come in and overwhelm him from the side. As well, he's also guarding the north. And to be fair, that's a very large front for... Uh, uh, like not that big of an army honestly it I don't think that he can hold especially if the American player comes around to the right and we have the Soviet player which I'm a suit well actually no the Americans kind of over here the Soviets kind of helping him over here as well so I guess he's just going straight in has a lot of manpower I'm kind of curious if he's saving up for shock troops which could be very potent no, like again no question he's getting again we can see German uh, not German Soviet light armor so that could be a thing German wise up oh, minefield going off killing the conscript squad someone was not paying attention to those little signs so always watch out for those signs Rangers coming in trying to engage those grenadiers captain coming on in as well again very good close range oh boy these guys better with Thompson's which they are surely getting and they have already walked around the MG oh that's bad her Rangers like uh we're about to become death incarnate there they go Thompson's will instantly murder anything close range. It, they're incredibly powerful infantry. There goes that squad. It's not even a competition. Now, unfortunately, not long range now. They're not the best. He, that man did a twirl. But uh, add in the additional squads in a half track healing. Not looking good. Not looking good. Additional concerts coming in. Hitting, hitting some more mines. But they don't. They did get a minesweeper. They, they are learning. They are learning. Maybe the Raptors from Jurassic Park mo mo learn a little faster, but you know, he, he's a uh, he's definitely learning. Rifle grenade fired, kills a few more models. Rangers probably can't commit to a major fight, but that doesn't matter. They just need to decap the fuel. With the A half track right there watching, he should be A okay. By the way, if I could give a. Oh, wait, is that demo? He plays the demo on the point. I would have done it maybe on the other side, but whatever. It, it, I mean, it's at least on the point. Uh, remember when they didn't allow you to place demos on points anymore because it was overpowered? Then they just made them reveal. Now it's okay. Although, to be fair, I think we all learned that bushes are now the best spots for demos. Oh, I love how he's just shooting the mines trying to get rid of them. Yeah, good luck with that, man. But uh, one thing I will take note, I know this is kind of a side thing. Dr. Sleep comes out this weekend. If you, if uh, This is just, I watched it. I'm not supported by them. I didn't get money to say this, but God, hot damn, it's a fantastic movie. Highly recommend it. Speaking of which, fantastic move by the Soviet shock troops. Kill the Germans. Oh my god. That's one squad down. Molotov brings the other one down to half health. Luke's giving it his all though. Although AT grenade hits it. Any AT in the region by any... Nope. A half track is actually being hit by a pack gun. So good job with Joey on the right. Again, Germans trying desperately to hold this point. But I don't think they will be able to. I think they'll be pushed back. They just don't have the men in the... Oh my god. That squad got blown the F up. Detonated the mine with the Molotov. I... Okay. Didn't expect that. Nice shot. So yeah, Lokush lost quite a number of his Volk squads from those 
grenades and his own mines. Or Joey's mines, to be specific. So, good job, Joey. Team killer right there. Anyway, Grandier's coming on the flank. We could see him knock out the mortar with especially a rifle grenade. Right there, could kill at least three models. Or he could just move up and try to push it back. Either way, at least the mortar will be out of commission for a little while. And the Germans will at least still hold a decent amount of territory. I... Hmm... The allies are getting more on the left, and they are healing their stuff. And to be fair, they are getting more powerful infantry. They're doubling down on these rangers for close range. The problem is a lot of close range units on this bigger map could be detrimental if they fire in, like, long, open terrain. Because they're just not as powerful. They're, they're just simply not. Which, uh, I, again, it, it's just one of those things that you just have to take... Well, not take for granted, but... Just one of those things you have to, uh... To worry about just how you compose your infantry. Because again, and like in this, this castle, it's perfect. You literally rush around, you get kill a lot of stuff. But for other things, I mean, we'll see. So anyway, Germans capturing back mid as well as the uh, allies taking the left hand side. Oh shoot. Rangers and Captain coming on in on the MG. Captain will be able to sneak around. I. It's going to be close, but I think yeah, they should be able to push back the MG. Man, that guy keeps hopping. He gets pushed back, but it, they do enough damage to where at least if they push in, it'll take a while to kill both these units. So they can at least do a delaying action until, well, additional infantry come on in. Again, we have a lot of allied forces on left taking a good chunk of territory. My Again, Joey's minefield is killing Kush's men. Kush's men is like, we're not going on that point. It's a death trap for our own men. Anyway, uh, Luke's coming in. Again, no AT units here, so they have a field day killing these guys. Meanwhile, allied forces cut this point off, which will cut off the German fuel. So, again, very good job with that. Again, I do think the allies should probably take this point. Looks like the demo did explode. Don't see any dead bodies, though. Rifle grenade being fired. Misses target. And he's firing in the kind of open, so these guys in cover will be a lot better off. And should be able to hold back the right ear squad, honestly. So, good job there. Good job, uh, Murray. Good job, Murray. Any case, uh, we have a Luke so, still over here. Half-Track is in a position where he could flank. Maybe backed up by the AT gun. That could do a lot. Again, Rangers could be equipped with bazookas, but he decided to equip them with Thompsons. A all right, AT gun's opening fire. Uses, uh... Again... It even even with against the the loops, it still does quite a bit of damage. And even without the oh no, he did fire. Okay, never mind. He will fire the sabal rounds. Cool. So it'll do even more damage. I was thinking of just baseline. Well, if it hits, if it hits nothing, then that's not gonna help anyone. So it's finally taken back mid. We still have a lot of support weapons. Conscripts. Oh boy, it's they're so weak. Oh my god, this thing's so weak. Get the hell out of there. I have no idea, Kush, why you're barely alive, but. Get the heck out of there. Anyway, Conscripts still uh, taking mid. I'm, I'm surprised the Germans haven't tried to move up an MG to stop them. But I guess they're just worried about their flank. So, no problems there. He's like, it's, it's funny because Conscripts are actually using the hole he was in for heavy cover. Nice job hitting the last mine, I assume, in mid. Uh, Germans recapturing the munitions, which definitely needed. Definitely needed. Right now, resource-wise, it's quite even uh, with the munition point going back to the Germans. So, again... Good mix. Uh, neither side has built caches yet. More, Most likely you're going to see it more on the allied side than the Axis because the Axis only one player can do it. Allied side, both players can do it. We do, it looks like, have Lil Kush upgrading both Volk squads with SCG 44s. Should be very effective combo. Meanwhile, Grand Ears pushing back Conscript squad. But we have additional Conscripts and Shock Troops moving on in. Again, I'm assuming they try to take the castle. Right now with the Shock Troops there, unless they get a good rifle grenade hit, then that's a decent hit. Uh, Shock Troops should be able to overwhelm them, I would assume. Grenades going behind. Oh, kills. Well, brings down the health down the half. We do have a Panzer IV, though. Joey did bring up the armor. Do you guys have armor? You do. You have the base unlocked. I'm assuming you're saving up for something, like an S-285, because you have enough fuel for a T-34, and you're about to, I assume, get a Sherman, if I had to assume. Nice mortar hit. Did a little damage, along with the AT, uh, AT grenade, I assume. Oh, hell. Luke's died from the AT gun. So, good job there. German forces, though, not done yet. Bringing up an MG-34 to hopefully suppress these units. We'll see. 
He's gonna fall back though. Nice. Again, don't worry about the point. Just fall back to a better spot. Panzer IV though in a good position to flank. I don't see any mines over here. So again, he's just gonna rush on in. I don't think he wants to rush in the Allied base because Conscript's gonna do a mass AT grenade assault against him and like just two AT grenades, it's gonna be dead in the water. And then with the Sherman coming in, that would have been a very, very bad time to do that. But I did get seven kills, so it's not entirely... Again, it, it, it did its job. It pushed back the Allied infantry and allowed the Germans to hold this territory. Allies, though, again, still have left. It would be very good if they can grab that point. But right now, they're still impacting the Germans by not allowing them to have those munitions. So they are down right now. Overall army size, it's close. But the Allies have a slight lead in terms of the overall resources. Grandier's trying to, again, take the point. Hopefully push the allies down further. And they, I mean, to be fair, they are. Right now, the Germans do have a small lead via victory points. Small, but it's noticeable. And at least if they can keep the lead going, it would definitely help them out. But right now, it, uh, with them decapping the point, no one's losing points anymore. German forces pushed on in, but looks like some, uh, some mines delayed there from really advancing. Rangers coming on in. About to get vet one if that guy doesn't retreat. Oh boy, Panzer IV, again, pushing up. AT guns on standby along with the S-285. Again, saving up for the better tank destroyer with the T-34, which is, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a weak battle tank, but I mean, it can do. That's definitely a staple of like, yeah, we're, you're not pushing up with your armor. That's not happening. Conscript Shock Street's moving on in. Allies might be able to take this point, no issue. Actually, a lot of points, no issue. I'm not seeing anything to stop them. Panzer IV, sure, and yeah, if they push this way, they'll be suppressed. But if they move up this way, they'll at least grab that point, which would be a huge plus. And also, it looks like the Allies are taking this. So again, more resources going over uh, to the Allies, which not a great sign. Not a great... Actually, the Rangers are really deep in enemy territory. Holy mackerel. They are going far. Volk squads just outside of the base fighting Rangers. But uh, they throw the grenade. Good micro there. Little Kush dodges it, and he's going to have to retreat and pull back. Meanwhile, again, a Sherman and a T-Gun putting pressure on Little Kush's medical. I don't know why I put it here. I'm um, assuming he just built it to kind of hold the, like, for a retreat point. But on this map, it's a 2v2, so you're not going to get very far from the, uh, from, the, uh, from the front line. And that could be an issue for artillery. And we know that... Murray and Gynacus can both build rocket artillery, whether a Calliope or Katusha. So, or Incendiary in this case. That will be called down at this point. I think it might be better just the building your base, you heal. Anyway, Major moved up. I'm assuming you the call down artillery if they didn't kill it, but they did. Sherman is injured, though. A half track coming on in, but Pack Gun is opening fire on said Sherman. Again, they're trying to stop it, they're trying to kill this thing. The AA half track is definitely putting, work, uh, is definitely doing some work. A gun's barely out of range, but should be able to hit this thing. Oh, it barely misses. Good job with the. Uh, wow. Okay, white phosphorus came down and just put an end to that. Pack gun's still opening fire on him. Allied forces are too far overstretched. S85 desperately trying to move over, but this is the time for the Panzer IV to shine, and he does. 17 kills now. 16 vehicles. Uh, sorry, infantry. Two vehicles. I'm sorry, one vehicle. Now make it two vehicles. Jump the gun a little bit. S-285, though, firing pop shots. He's trying to make it out of there. Pioneer squad engaging with the pack gun still hitting him. Nice shot. Barely alive. S-285. Oh, artillery's coming in on that pack gun. I'll be curious to see what that is. Unfortunately, he's too out of range. Okay, so yeah. He dropped in just normal base artillery. Okay. Was making sure that wasn't, let's say, the major or something like that that rushed back up. But nope. Incendiary fire. Shock troops, again, very expensive infantry right now in the middle of open field. They're still going to do very well on a charge. Shock grenade. Yep. Shocks them both. Oh, grenade. Oh, hot. Damn. Guy in the kisses. Wow. He, preempt he preempted that. He knew exactly where you're going to retreat to. Very nice grenade. This thing now has 20 kills. Hot. Damn. Only that. I no, Panzer IV is at 18. Very close. Very close indeed. Anyway, Shock Troops trying to come in to help push back the Panzer Grandiers, but it looks like Panzer Grandiers should be held back, honestly. Up, Mortar comes in, push back the Conscript Squad. MG suppresses, and Panzer Grandiers actually win the fight. Pan There's a lot of Panzer IVs, though, right now. So I'll be curious to see if he's going to try to use a more 
uh, blitz tactic of having a lot of medium armor just rush toward the enemy. We'll see. We'll, we will absolutely have to see. Meanwhile, we have infantry on standby. Most likely going to try to go for this point. Again, nice shot with the AT gun in the back. By the way, this thing, again, Vet 2, hot damn, is doing very well for itself. Now, again, and with the MG suppressing, they can't use AT grenades because they can't fire it while suppressed. Um, at least guarding that point as well. They, they can always flank it around. Panzer IV trying to figure... I'm, I'm assuming just back it up because they know the AT gun's still there. They push up too much and it'll be overwhelmed. Uh, meanwhile, we have the AT gun over here as well. Grandier's trying to go in for this point. Not much stopping them. Oh, two Grandier's moving in. Okay, they should at least take back the right. Now, the Allies are currently at an advantage because they're pushing down the Germans now. I think it's switched. So right now, the Allies are currently... In a better position, VP point-wise, than the Germans. Who, by the way, I have to say, that minefield was... Oh, my God. That minefield both delayed the Allies and pretty much stopped you from taking it. So, uh, I guess it was a win-win. Any additional mines? Well, the Soviets don't care. They're just rushing in all their troops for that. Meanwhile, a lot of Rangers and the Captain rushing on in. I do mean rushing because literally he is. Again... Versing this guy, I think he should be fine. Joe, oh, we should do double check doctrine. Joey went lightning war, good infantry support, tiger, and fortifications. Fortifications, which I don't think you've made yet. We have the German bunker in terms of the Vermont angle, but not of the OKW. So, so far, no fortifications, so I wonder if you're saving up for munitions. That's why. Anyway, allies managed to take back mid. They still have a ton of AT in this sector, along with mortars. Again, specifically two, which also provide recon. Don't forget about that. So they can probably flare it, try to identify key targets, and just keep mortaring them. Now, a flank is happening. And also, I'm actually Joey. I'm a little bit surprised you haven't upgraded your men. Even if you did G43s instead of the, M the MG42, I still think that's worth it. Honestly, I prefer G43s uh, to give it quite fair. Um, but each one has a pro and con. But uh, the, po the point of the matter is... I feel like upgrading your infantry would be better to try to fight off these uh, veteran conscripts and help kill this AT gun and stuff like that. Meanwhile, conscripts, once again, holding the goddamn line, beating off Obel Sadatin. Okay, that came out wrong, but whatever. They, they pushed him back, and Volk Squad's moving on in. Mortar's still there with the AT gun. We can see our artillery barrage here. That would be pretty effective holding him back. Panzer IV and Panzer Grandiers coming around the right flank, along with some normal Grandiers, pushing back the Soviets pretty easily. AT gun is still on standby and could open fire on the Panzer IV. Which I assume will happen, but he's not prioritizing armor, so they're going to focus on the infantry. Molotov, once again going out. Lokush does get him out in time, but they are very weak. Do you have a medical back at base? Okay, we have medical here, and you have medical supplies. Did you build another... No, mechanized. Okay. Volk Squad's moving on in, trying to kill the AT gun. Shock Street's putting an end to that. Yeah, it's going to kill it. Ooh, there goes that Volk Squad. Did not stand a chance. S-85 opening fire. Shock Troops trying to hold the line. Throws a grenade. Trying to push them back. Very good job there. Grandiers as well pulling on back. I don't know why he retreated that unless he got caught up in something. But I don't think there's any MGs over here. So not entirely sure what he could have got caught up with. I mean, it would have forced him to retreat. Because he kind of came over here probably killed the AT gun and probably rifle grenade this one. So we'll see. Um, also, no artillery yet for the Allies. So... Curious on that. Axis, double Panzer IV, so he has upgraded to the last base, so at least he's prepping long term for a Tiger or a Panther or something like that. Jackson opening fire, pushing back the Panzer IVs, both injured in some capacity, but not too critically injured. But at least pulling back just to get some heals, so they know they can't win that fight. Locush, on the other hand, we know he's built three bases, so we know he's good for a king. I have to make the assumption. That's what he's going for because we have a ton of fuel. We have a ton. Oh, not a ton, but we have a ton of munitions. And we have an okay amount of manpower. I think it's going to take twice as much roughly for a king. But what I'm trying to say is like most likely he's probably saving up for that. He is building a little defensive structure over here, which is weird because next to the Panzer headquarters building. So I, maybe stop a further flank or I don't know. Make sure the left flank is pretty much locked down. I'm not entirely sure. Luckily, the... MG over here, suppress that whole blob, so that's pushing it back. Jackson coming on in. Again, Panzer IV, even though Vet 2 needs to pull on back, Jackson can put an end to that very quickly. Luckily, Pack Gun to mid's like, oh, this is very easy for me to take out this thing. 
I said, unless it misses, then yeah, you're gonna whiff it quite a bit. So good job there. But uh, uh yeah. Artillery's coming down, trying to push them back. Eh, it could be worse. Could be worse. At least they didn't kill the squad. Anyway, Panzergrenadiers like uh, moving up. The bunkers are uh, that bunker's still alive. The MG's still good over here, so at least. Joey's providing some defensive lines, so that way if they do push up, they'll experience some uh, major discomfort. Meanwhile, Ranger's barely holding together with only two models. Major, though, up to Vet 2. Katouche. Oh, Pensworth for opening fire. One model's killed. Uh, not a great hit, honestly. Could be better. So, yeah, he's not... He just got artillery. Not a bad idea. We do have an IS-2 on the field. Which is a problem. That's a big old heavy tank the allies have. And unfortunately for the Axis, their best tank is right now. Wait, hold on. Lokush built a Jagdpanzer. So at least he realized, okay. Okay, I need a tank destroyer, not a big heavy tank. Which, I don't know. Um, If we add up how much Jagdpanzer is at this very moment. Remember, it's just looking 400-135. So honestly, he would be at the point right now where he could deploy a king. So, instead of getting a King Tiger, which could hold back an IS-2, we decide, you know, I know you need to go with the Jagdpanzer. We'll see if that was a good choice. We have artillery, though, coming down. That would be zeroing. However, we only have recon by the Grenadiers, and it looks like these guys are moving out of the way. Calliope's opening fire, though, within the circle, so expect artillery raining down. Though, it does get some good shots in the Grenadiers, definitely pushing them back. Artillery should be coming down any moment now on that position, plus mortars under fire. Uh, we have Stuka Close Air Support coming in. It's a major old battle. Oh, good shot with the Jackson AT gun. Knock out one Panzer IV. Second one's pulling back. Oh my god. Pull back! German armor pulling back, but the artillery's doing work. Gets at least one kill on an AT gun. The rest of the units fall back, taking some casualties, but overall, except for the ambulance, uh, most of the armor made it out alive. Very nice. Let's see. Meanwhile, we have the Volk squads over here with 21 kills. Jagdpanzer is eh, taking a little bit of a scratch. I mean, IS-2 definitely took some hits, but I think that was more the artillery. But again, they can't use that often. And with the stupid close air support that was called in, it pushed back the allied armor. Um, and again, But the Calliope didn't take any damage. The Jackson should be up momentarily. And he still got very good infantry, though, as we can see, he... Definitely doesn't have a ton. Um, at least compared to... Well, no. I mean, they only have three frontline models. He has three, technically. So, he's not too bad. Walking right into the Rangers. Nice little ambush right there. Panzerwerfer coming on in. I think that might actually... Yep, it actually hurt his own men. But at least it was enough to cause Rangers to retreat. So, that's good. Meanwhile, again, Panzergrandier's taking the fuel. At least getting those resources back to German lines, which is very important. Actually, they'll have more right now than the Allies. So that's good. At least we'll be able to outpace them there. So we'll see how... Again, we have right now no caches on... Oh, wait. We have munitions cache. So the Germans did put something. So Joey is trying to help. Um, Joey, unfortunately, though, is... I mean, he has a pack gun. But his armor cannot fight the big like some of those allied tanks. The allies have them outclassed in that regard. Um, it's with the IS-2 and the SU-85. Uh, meanwhile, Lokush still has the Agpanzer. Which, again, can go Toto in some regard, but not if they push together. No way. Panzer IV coming on, trying to help push the shock troops. Moving in close, maybe trying to run him over, but he did retreat in time. So, good job right there. Allied forces licking their wounds. Probably going to come back uh, pretty damn potent, especially with double AT guns backing them up. Again, with the, the Axis limited armor, double AT gun plus Jackson, that's not going to be helpful at all. Uh, meanwhile, he's going to pull back the Jackson. Which, again, Panzer IV is pushing up. Luckily, both tank destroyers missed the shot. Calliope's raining hell down. Might kill the Volk squad. Gonna be close. Oh, he made it. Oh, my God. He's so lucky. You are so damn lucky with that squad. Uh, and honestly, that would have been your last Volk squad. So, yeah. Good thing you retreated that. Uh, meanwhile, that Calliope. Oh, shoot. Massive amount of allied infantry right there. Panzer for Good strike. Gets a lot of model kills on that strike. It's about time. I mean, not uh, amazingly well. It's only up to nine now. But at least they have that one. So it's something. At least it can do something 
more against the enemy. Meanwhile, again, we have the Panzer IV on the right with some German infantry trying to take over these points. Again, pushing a little deeper into the Allied lines. Allies kind of figuring out what to do, though the armies are really equal. I would say the Allies have the better units with the better shock troops and the better IS-2. But the Germans overall have numerical superiority, which is hilarious because Soviets, you know, should have more. But they don't. Um, IS-2 advancing on that. Now is the Dushka machine gun on top, so that makes it even more horrifying. I love how he's using the building as cover, so these guys have a hard time hitting it. Luckily, he backed up, so the Panzer IV and Pack were able to hit it. IS-2 backing on up. We'll still put a lot of fire down over there. We'll hurt him. Yeah, he's just going back out just fine. No way to pin him. Pioneers don't have that, uh, and the Grand Ears are too far back. We have another uh, super close air support coming on in. I'm assuming trying to kill this. We'll see what it hits. I think it's going to hit the SU. No, it's Calliope. Oh, it's barely alive. Hot damn. All right. Uh, yeah, get out of there. Pack, uh, Panzer IV moving up on the SU-85. They might try to do a Panzerfaust on it and try to kill it. Remember, the air support's still inbound. Wait, maybe not. I think the Allies shot out of the sky. There's only one plane now. Allies still... No, they're getting an anti-air gun. Okay. Maybe the Dushka took it out? I think the Dushka took it out. A little bit of strafe here. It hurts a bit more the armor. It'll be a while before the German armor gets back on the front. Meanwhile, we do have a king right up by Kush. Finally, bring out that King Tiger. I thought it was going to deploy a lot sooner. So that would be the most powerful tank on the field. The Allies still have a ton of tank destroyers. And they're getting more. But hot damn, we'll see. A good flank could knock out e either side. One good engagement. Uh, Panzerwerfer, looks like nothing on that shot. No models killed. Luckily, the Germans uh, are managing to hold both stars now. So, they, it's been neck and neck with victory points, but it is starting to side more. Uh, or at least, hopefully, start counting down the Allied side. So, we'll see if the Germans can keep that up. Panzergrandiers, Vet 3, 25 kills. Hot damn, that's very, really good. All right. Armor is healing, and they have a ton of rear echelons, so hopefully it doesn't take very long. Um, again, uh, they still have infantry pushing on the right and left flanks, so they're trying to grab both munition points. Which, again, is a big uh oh for the allies. Because right now, because the axes have that, they're at 68 munitions per turn. Which is pretty horrifying, honestly. If the enemy is getting that much munitions, why can't you leave that point alone? He's like, come on, man. Why? We just want those munitions. Uh, we have, uh, oh, nope. He's deploying cover to cover. Smokes the MG. Grenade going out. Doesn't really hurt him too much, though the Rangers will hurt him a lot. Uh, he could move up to hit it, but, uh, yeah, there's two A things right there. So, Panzer Headquarters, Flak Emblazement, doesn't matter. It will be suppressed and killed pretty quickly. Meanwhile, it looks like Joey's pushing on right. S-85 trying to put some shots on the AT gun of all things. I mean, yeah, I hate to break it too. I've tested that. You need a lot more S-85s. You're going to kill that one AT gun. Meanwhile, Panzer IV coming in. Again, the one negative is the shock troops is the fact they don't have anything to fight that armor. So you can't snare it. You can delay him and drop smoke and just chill. But he's going back out and just shoot you right in the face. Hope, I mean, he'll, uh, when, he miss, when he misses, he's not going to do anything. When he hits, it's going to freaking hurt. Conscript's trying to hold that, or hold that, or at least hold the, the field, but unfortunately, unable to. Molotov does some damage, though, so uh, that's okay, I guess. Germans managing to take back both uh, points on left, and they're moving in on the right as well. So all three victory points should, uh, should shortly go under for the Axis control. Now, the Allies uh, definitely have a lot more of an army now, and they still have quite a bit, as, as soon as they reman this, will be overpopulation. But Joey is at PopCap, and he has deployed a Tiger, which is now engaging the IS, oh god. Classic battle, IS-2 versus Tiger. Very good shots across the board. S-85 still providing support. Paris IV is like, get me the heck out of here. S-85 moving on in, getting some excellent shots on the Tiger, backing up though. Pa King Tiger is now moving on the flank. They're moving over to the right. S-85 is going to heal AT gun. And going to walk right in front of that thing's line of fire. Which could be horrifying for that AT gun. Because it only has two models left. So with that MG-42 on top, this thing is probably a goner. All right, th there's too many tank destroyers though. Even with the King's impressive armor set. And the Conscript Squad moving in. That thing needs to pull back now. Luckily it does miss. Double pack gun opening fire on the IS-2. He's not reacting fast enough. 
Artillery knocks out AT gun. Pushing that sucker back. Conscript's taking over this point. IS-2 barely clinging to life. Tiger trying to go in for the kill. Will he manage? SU-85s though are there to cover. Even with the damage engine, they can still cover very well. One misses, one hits, and uh, yeah, Tiger's at all about 60, 50, 55% uh, health left. So good job with the Volk Squad pushing back some additional conscripts. And once again, the Soviet player is down, but not out. He still has all of his armor is still alive. Just needs some heals. Uh, Murray's not doing too bad either. He is being suppressed at this point by the MG uh, that uh, Locusha set up. So nice job at least protecting your flank. But Ranger's still grabbing this point, so not a complete victory. It is weird how... Okay, there we go. Cover to cover. So we at least drop smoke on target, so they'll be able to take it. Hopefully. Although it's weird Rangers are firing on the MG. Yeah, I was going to say. Where's the where's the return fire? Meanwhile, overall, again, I have to say it's very close. Both sides are neck and neck into this population. Panzer IV is just trying to root push this guy out. We do have a Calliope coming down. Oh my god. So close once again killing that Volk squad. He is probably very pissed that he wasn't able to kill at least one. Eight kills left to vet one, so that's not too bad. Panzer IV coming around, pushing them back. We do have a shock, double shock troops moving on in, but once again, the MG is like, nah, you're not passing. You shall not pass this defensive line that we have made. Oh boy. Shock troops uh, again. Even with the MG redeploying, the Tiger tanks there. Plus, Panzer IV is coming in, I have to assume, in that area. Does a little bit of damage, but overall not too shabby. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Good job right there, pushing the enemy back. Panzer IV and Tiger doing a ton of damage to the shock troops. Again, very good, both of them, for killing infantry. Meanwhile, again, both uh, both uh, sides still have plenty of AT and uh, armor to boot. So if he thinks this Panzer IV is just going to walk on in, he just 25 to have something else to say. Jackson's as well coming on over. Another volley could easily kill it. Oh my god, Jackson again. Nice long range shot. Takes the hit and kills the Panzer IV. Now, Joey's in a situation to get another one very quickly. But that's still a medium armor tank right now. They have way too many. Luckily, an airstrike's coming in. Might be able to kill one. SU-85 right here. It's going to be close. But, uh... Panzerfaust maybe? Oh, nope. Tiger finishes it off. Very nice. Meanwhile, again, tank destroyers in a line along with the heavy tank. This infantry and, and the, uh, the Tiger need to pull back immediately. There's no way they can win that. No way. Trying to kill the Grandier squad is for his payback. Jackson coming in trying to get the kill. We still have the King, which tried to flank, but realized, uh, that's a bad idea. Jagdpanzer, though, backing him up. AT guns though on standby, waiting for them to come around the corner. Lucky bounce on the Yagpanzer, and a good uh, hit by the King. Does quite a bit of damage to the AT guns, but alas, they're still there, prevalent, and opening fire on the Yag, which is hot damn at like 20% health left. So yeah, pull that sucker back. I get what you're trying to move in for, but they have way too much AT. You need a good Panzer for strike to knock some of that su stuff out, or move up good infantry. That would really, really help. Although Murray has a ton of manpower and an okay amount of fuel. If he loses an armored unit, he can get back. But more impressive is the manpower. Uh, Joey is unfortunately using his reserves to get back additional armor, which would in this case would be a panther. Uh, Loku shells a decent amount of munition, uh, munitions, fuel, and manpower. So he's good for any scenario, whether he needs another tank or a, or a special call in. Strike coming down. Shock troops barely outside the range of it. Does They do lose a model, but it's the cat nonetheless. Major calling in a recon for incendiary strike somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. Just mid. Yeah, I'm really confused where the fire came down at. Oh, there it is. It killed the AT gun in the back. I was like, is he stopping it from advancing? Where, like, where is that? IS-2 doing a bit of a slide, but moving on in against the Tiger. It is up to Vet 1. It almost Vet 2 after another shot, so this thing is nothing to be trifled with. Tiger is about to hit Vet 1, but an IS-2? A Vet 2? Yeah, it's uh, not something he wants to fight. He's doing the frag bomb to try to knock this sucker out. Gets a great shot. Kills the MG and almost kills the AT gun. It's a wonderful shot right there. It does a lot. I know that's a newer ability. I know the old one had the capture, but 
Hot damn. Katusha killing the pack on as well. Joey got to use the Lecter's reserves just to reman that and get a heal. Which is, again, not a lot of manpower he has left. Axe is trying to take mid, but the allies are just locking the area down. Zeroing is now in effect, though. And as you can see, it is kind of guarding not only mid, but a little past it. S-85 is in a bit of an issue. Though, Tank Destroyer and uh, as well the IS-2 opening fire. Might be able to kill the Panther, we shall see. Backing up just enough, they reman the AT gun. And it was enough to kill the S-285. Additional AT gun, though, moving on in. IS-2 trying to kill that with the shock troops. Ah, uh, missed a shot on the Panther. Dropping smoke to escape. Wait, is that? No, that's not smoke. I'm sorry, he's just... Literally had a backfire in his back tailpipe. I'm sorry. I thought it was smoke, but it really wasn't. It was, it was, it was literally just the tiger polluting the environment. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Jackson pulling on back. Tiger advancing. Some good shots from the IS-2 on it. Zeroing is being called down, so he has to worry about possibly hitting him. Getting some nice long-range shots, pushing that sucker back. Again, Jackson trying to keep his distance. He doesn't want to move up too much, but he's definitely at least a little more cautious with it. Although, again, that once again, AT got barely alive. I would be very surprised if the IC2 doesn't come over and just do a pop shot on target. Oh, Calliope point blank kills the Volk Squad. Almost kills the old, kills Oval Sadat. That's a heavy loss for little Koosh, which I think that would. He has one frontline infantry unit left. One. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. He still has a ton of manpower and resources, don't be wrong. But losing is some of your best vetted guys, not a good, not not good. Though they are winning now. They're putting a lot of pressure on the allies. Although allies still in this game, giving them hell. Good Katusha, uh, no, Katusha, Calliope strike. No, it was Katusha. What am I saying? I was looking at this like, no, Calliope. No, it's Katusha. Go with your instincts. Anyway. Push back the mortar, knocks that sucker out, and once again causing some more damage to the uh, to the Axis lines. Allies, though, recuperating a little bit, healing their armor in the back, whether the half track or other things. Again, I'm assuming with the amount of infantry they have in AT guns, maybe a slow push. I know zeroing is a problem, but kind of spread them out and maybe you'll be a bit bit better. But yeah, uh, Yagpanzer up to vet two, so that's good there. Again, I, I see what Loki's trying to go. He's trying to go defensive. Um, trying to really hold down some key points um, or along this front. I think I've maybe moved up a little bit. But, again, he's just trying to make sure they don't flank that left point and then try to desperately take mid while Joey pushes right. Which, again, uh, definitely the front that he's actually not doing bad on. So, hopefully he can bring in some good blows. Again, upgrading this to a uh, Panzer Strike Force might be a good idea fighting this stuff. Uh, I know it's the Shock Troops to be a little bit more of a disadvantage, but... You need something to help with the armor, and right now I don't see any pack guns on the front. This one's still a little bit further in the back. Trying to kill the AT gun, but I think he'll make it just barely. Shock Troops coming around to put into that, but remember, ladies and gentlemen, we saw the MG. It's a new one, but we still put place an MG in that sector to stop any flank from occurring. IS-2 and S-85 moving on in. Minesweeper's in play. Good idea. Make sure you don't get Teller Mines. Oh my god, good... Good squad wipe right there. Good squad wipe right there against the uh, shock troops. Down to a single man. He's ready for his life. Panther moving on in IS-2 trying to put some shots on the pack gun. S-85 and IS-2 a little bit outclassed. Too much armor in this sector. And I Tiger's out to vet too. He pun if he puns across either of them, they could be screwed. Not unable to win. Additional armor coming on in to help kill it with the king. S-85 is down. IS-2 is what remains. He's going to pull back. Nice bounce. Yagpons are trying to cut him off from the escape. Katusha's right there, so that's a huge... Uh-oh. What kind of moment? Luckily, IS-2 managed to escape. Jackson kind of moving in, but the armor's already pulling back for the most part. Tiger's still here, but with the Jackson there, and I'm assuming... Yep, activating special on person rounds. I expect that Tiger to be peeled open slowly but surely. Like a can opener with those rounds. Pretty much always penetrating. Except for that run. That's AT gun. But the, the Jackson ones. Especially now Vet 3. Hot damn. Yeah, it's gonna penetrate that thing like crazy. Down to 40% health. Pulling back. Not a bad idea to get some heals. King Tiger moving into the mix then. Missing both. There's a little bit of damage to AT gun. But overall just more of a pop shot. Both sides really missing their target. And right now I will say this. 
allies have regained control of the victory points putting additional pressure on the axis once again it's neck and neck neither side is really able to push the other one down for a clear victory though gynek has definitely lost a lot he lost two s i mean he had two s-25s before but now he's down to getting a, a brand new one he's lost a bit of infantry overall i think that he might be one of the weaker players though again his population is still pretty massive axis though have a ton of reserve for both fuel and uh little kush has more manpower munitions than joey but still joey's not doing too bad for himself cindy coming in i have no idea why it won't do anything to armor so, so, please tell me why you keep doing incendiary on armor like seriously i i'm so after that one game i kind of freaked out on i'm just so curious as to why people do that Katusha going in deep and with no support and no cover. Yeah, it blew up. Kind of a waste right there. Though we still have double Calliope, so don't feel too bad for the allies. And the, they're opening fire. Um, oh my god. Yeah, pull that back before it gets hit. Tiger being hit even, taking a little bit of damage. Not a lot, but eh, enough. Throw it. Tiger is down. And here come the allied armor. This could be a big play. Panzer for the opening fire. Hitting the infantry on right rather than the line of AT guns. Panther trying to sacrifice itself, but uh, yeah, it's going to die. If it actually lives. There, I was going to say, there's too much AT. Now, we do have all this, but the ISU could fire its special round to kill all this shit. We'll see if it does. Nope, just going to keep firing. I don't think the Dushka isn't firing for whatever reason. There, it does kill it. Uh, Tiger trying to get some shots now on target. King Tiger's coming around. Zeroing is now in play. IS-2 realizes that pulls on back. Jackson, though, not really under any fire. Pack gun, though, is right there. Gonna pull back. I think he'll fire one last shot, and it will kill it. Damn it. Good job with the pack. Again, kind of covering. AT gun and uh, the remaining units are just outside the range. The, this unit could be hit because it's right there, but the rest of it should be fine. King Tiger has to pull back. Infantry rolling on in. Tiger's still damaged. Both the King and the normal Tiger have taken some hits. Although, Murray, ton of manpower and fuel. Going pretty well. Panzer for coming on in, not really hitting anything. It's up to Vet 2, though. But uh, this IS-2, 30 kills. Doing pretty well for itself. 37 for these shock troops. Murray is 28 and 16. I think that's his best unit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, not really, not really much. Trying to flank the IS-2. Still plenty of health. SU-85 could help kill that. Come on. Oh, so close. You need one more strike. I thought if one of those penetrated, it would have died. Meanwhile, Allied Force is grabbing the fuel. So that's going to help them out uh, quite a bit as, you know, that would cut off the Axis fuel. And hopefully stop them from keep continuing to build their reserves. Uh, Gynekis, again, still needs to rebuild his army a little bit. But Joey, as well, the, a lot of his frontline troops need to heal, and his Tiger is healed. But there's still a lot of AT on the other side. We already saw the use zeroing, so it's going to be at least two minutes before we can use it again. Pack guns right now are their biggest, like, advantage, because it will open fire on these things if they can see it. Maybe kill an SU-85 or something. Again, possibly. Especially because he's not focusing on armor, so if he fires a single shot, he's effed. Tiger tank, though, kind of moving in position. I'm assuming trying to engage any armor on this right-hand flank. Again, I could see the Axis trying to lure the Allies into the Pack 43 um, or I could see the Allies trying to use mass artillery to kill the Pack 43 But we'll see. Artillery coming down. Right now, it is a battle for victory points. Both sides keep one-upping each other. But with the Soviets capturing mid... I would say that would start ticking on the Axis, but the Axis already preempted that and went for the right point. So good job there. At least you're trying to make sure you're not losing via VP. Overall, army-wise, it's still very close with Joey, again, placing mines on a victory point. Hopefully, don't kill your own men. Pack gun along Pack 43 stall on standby. King is up to Vet 1. Not too bad. I think your best unit, Tiger. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of high kill rates on any of these units. Not not really. Again, Pack 43 is still there. Can still open fire on a lot of targets. Again, they're in range. Well, luckily, it is missing, so I guess that is a plus. 
but they don't exactly have a direct strike except for the Calliope that can kill it. So, uh, those Calliopes need open fire, like, now. The King, uh, IS-2 is about to die because of incompetence. Oh, wait, no fire hits it. Luckily, it missed. I wonder if it's going to hit. Oh, my God, S-85 gets hit. Jesus Christ. He's absolutely not paying attention to that Pack 43, which, I mean, it's on fire, so of course he has to be paying attention because he used it. I, I don't understand why he's still there after he gets... I wonder if he's just trying to soak it. Uh, yeah, Calliope, you kind of missed the bigger, more important target. Again, I have no idea why Gondikus just sat there. He used Incendiary on it. So that was a really dumb move. Panzer for just clearing out the rest of his infantry. Gondikus now down to a bare bones army. Really no armor at all. Suclos Air Support coming in to help deal with the allied armor. Again, Pack 43. It's the secret savior of this game. I, I did not expect that, but uh, yeah, it did quite a bit. Uh, because, again, they're idiots and they didn't retreat. Murray still has a decent army, but it's not enough to guard the entire front. There's a Jackson uh, and Duet guns now have to deal with frontline infantry, which is very susceptible to. Yeah, the King and the Jag are moving on in while the AT guns are out of position. Armor's moving back for the most part. There's still open fire on the half track, as we can see. AT guns, though, are moving into position. Good kill with the A half track. That should stop the Shugo planes from being shot down, at least momentarily. AT guns opening fire. It just brings the Yak Panzer down to a third. Infantry moving on in. Oh my god, getting some excellent shots. Very nice job. Almost a dot and opening fire. Let's see. I'm not seeing any other fronts. Oh wait, there we go. Axis might lose some territory from the allies in this region, but they're gonna try desperately to hold mid, but Panzerwerfer is coming on in. Yeah, you know, rushing out. Again, that's the nice thing about it. cover to cover. He moves pretty quick. Uh, we'll need to drop smoke here, but uh, yeah. Oh my god, Kalei being so close. Pack 43 could have opened fired on it. I think they tried to hit the hit the terrain. Tiger coming in now. Vet three. I would consider that a Tiger Ace. Rangers desperately trying to hold mid because again they're hemorrhaging points. Though it's funny how none of them are pushing left. Also, actually, I'll call out the allies. No caches. Like Jeep Murray, you have no caches on this side. That would be if you put down three caches. Oh my god. Calliope opening fire on the tiger. Tiger does not give a shit. By the way, pack 43. Still in range. Oh my. Up to vet 5. The secret savior is the pack 43. Meanwhile, tiger tank advancing. Might be able to kill that Calliope. We shall see. Fire! Oh, hits the Jackson instead. I assume coming around the corner, as we can see right there. Airstrike coming in. I'm assuming super close air support. Nice kill right there. Pushes back the Jackson. AT guns, though, are lined up with the ambulance. Airstrike's coming in against the Jackson. IS-2 moving on in. Once again, though, I feel like it's going to rush into this problem. It is. It's literally in range again. Pack 43 fires. Nice shot. Down to a quarter. Again, moving on in. I don't think these guys understand the pack, which is turning to now intercept that. Stu cl close air support coming on in, getting some nice strafes. And the IS-2 is literally in the kill zone. No way else to describe it. It is screwed. Yep, there it goes. Alas. And with that, uh, Axis pretty much off dominance. Allies could, I mean, he could easily come back with a lot of manpower. Ganicus really dropped the ball there. Honestly, it, so did Murray. I This Pack 43, Jesus Christ, did so much damage and got so many kills. So, yeah, I'm really surprised on that, honestly. All right, they're saying GG, so I'm going to fast forward. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, so real, real quick, let's double check damage. Joey got most. Uh, Pack 43 didn't help turn the tide. Joey's uh, got top damage. 
His Panzer Force and Tiger, I have to assume, is what got him that, though the Pack Guns might be a close second. Pack Gun, no, actually. Uh, although Tiger beat him on damage taken. Uh, nearly 17,000, so good job there. Again, that's how he's able to get first. By the way, thank you to Joey, although Kush is also a Patreon supporter. But thank you guys so very much for submitting this replay. Very kind of both of you. Any case, uh, Murray was top on the Allied side with both kills and damage. And again, good job, Joey, for that. I have to assume that's a make sure of the Tiger as well with the Panzerwerfer getting so many kills. Because a lot of your infantry don't, doesn't exactly have a ton of kills. So, still good job there, Joey. Good job. Uh, Kush, what was your best unit? Pack 43, almost 14.5. Uh, Gannicus was IS-2, about 16,000 damage. And Jackson definitely was doing a lot. Um, yeah, overall, I feel like this was a very equal game until literally they fell asleep at the wheel and got shot with a pack through the building. This thing literally ended the uh, the allies' hopes to counterattack. If they did, if they if they would have focused on the pack 43, they would have been fine. But this thing literally popped out apparently nowhere, even though they, they hit it and killed or severely weakened so many allied armored vehicles from Calliope's to Jackson's IS-2s, S-25s, pretty much everything. And yeah, that was uh, GG. The, uh, the Axis armor literally strolled up and literally smacked down what was left. So good job there. Very good job. But in any case, this is just goes to show to make sure you focus on your units. And if there's a Pack 43 in your line of sight and in range of you, kill it priority with artillery, then focus on everything else. Don't just sit there and take it because... You may want to get better to or something. Not a good idea. But in any case, what do you guys think of this game? Put down in the comments down below. It's been Great Shot 17, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone, and before you go, I want to thank the October patrons, which include GTA, Jacob Allsway, Spartacus, Ace, Aldo Lopez, Chris Bailey, Folkford, Junior Chicklis, Ollie, Pyroshark, Rifle, Streaking Wookie, Joey G, 240, Josh Malam, and Moustache. Thank you all so very much for your amazing support. This has been Great Shot 17 and his amazing patrons, and we'll see you next time.